But what you demonstrated is no, every step can be you refining your craft. Just like every note that a guitarist plays is not like, okay, well, I'm, I'm shortening my career. Yeah, it's one note closer to the end. No, it's one note where I'm learning how to play it smoother, softer, more beautifully. Uh, uh, like a martial artist, someone who's doing martial You see like, you know, Ip Man, the guy who creates Wing Chun. He's always like got the long wispy beard. He's 104 years old and he's still like smashing boards. But the idea is that when you bring elegance to the movement, the impact is gone. The destruction is gone. And all that's left is smoothness and, and flow. And that's, I think, part of the hard part when we're talking about shoes or run form or even strength training, you know, what, what's the best way to do it? What's the right shoe? What's, is heel striking right? Is forefoot striking right? But no one talks about how it makes you feel because yeah. you can't study that. You can't, yeah. you can't create measurement in science yeah. of how someone feels other than an anecdotal answer. But that's what I hope people get from this book is that they start to implement this and they can start to realize what you saw of how good we can feel in doing this. Yeah, I felt like that is when the light bulb clicked on and we got what this book should be. The moment we started talking about, huh, actually everything that we think is important is something that can be measured by feel. And not in this kind of like, you know, namby pamby, you know, this into your body kind of way, but no, no, like direct cause and effect. That if you do something right, you'll feel it and you'll know it. Same way, like, you know, if you play a ball sport, okay, whenever you do something with that ball sport, if you swing a bat, take a shot, swing a golf club, swing a tennis racket, before you even make impact, you know it's right. Like it.